if you look at this question and your first thought is, oh my God, this is going to be terrible. Good. That's the clue that you should probably arithmetize and see what you can do without having to deal with all the algebra. There are ways to factor and get this, but I don't know. I just, I just don't think it's worth it. I just feel like it's not that hard to pick a number. We do have a restriction, so we have to make x greater than three. Let's make it four, right? And then they're telling us we need something equivalent to f of x over g of x, right? So we're going to put these two things on top of each other. So let's just see what we get. If we put four in, right? So four cubed, you might need to enter that in the calculator, but that's 64. So 64 minus 36, nine times four. Then we have 16 minus eight minus three. So at this point, you might, I would get my regular calculator just because I'm a little nervous about doing subtraction in my head. So 64 minus 36 is 28 and 16 minus eight minus three is five. So kind of a messy number, but it's a fraction and notice that all the answer choices are fractions as well. So whatever, it'll work itself out. I can also see very quickly that choice A isn't gonna work because if I put in four, right, I get one over five, that's that's not right. This would be a seven over five, so that doesn't work. This would be four times one over five, so that doesn't work. This would be four times seven, which is 28 over five, so there we go, done. Honestly, this question, 30 seconds, that's about it, 45 maybe, but certainly under a minute if you recognize that you can arithmetize very quickly. So you've got to change in your brain the way you approach a question. When you look at it, your first thought is, how can I avoid doing algebra here? You won't always be able to avoid it, so we do need to know algebra for the SAT, but if you start off with the premise that avoiding it is good, then you are more likely to dive into a strategy like arithmetize, like plug points into equations. And remember, arithmetize is plug points into equations. We are clearly given equations here. We're missing the points. So when every time I see equations and no points, my thought is maybe I can make those points up and see what happens. And I always try to pick the laziest number I can. Zero and one, we're told they, they don't work here, so we gotta go with something else. But uh, we pick the next best thing. Four is the smallest, you know, easy number, bigger than three. So we went with that. And with a little simple calculation, this is, this is really an easy question. This is another question that the SAT considers very, very hard, but that you must get right. There is no way to get a 700 or better on the SAT if you're getting something like this wrong, or if you're using too much time to get something like this right. So this is, this is a big example of a question that can completely shift your score if you're willing to shift your strategy.